You want to make some money online. You want to build an online business that puts money in your wallet and bank account. And that is the way to go. That's the wave of the future. I can totally understand that. But let me explain the art of making money online for you. This is what I want you to do. If this is your first time seeing this video or if you've been here around for a minute, go below and get 30 days to 2500, my free side hustle business building course and the hustler's mindset. Go ahead and get that because this is my gift to you during this pandemic so you can start making some money so you can get your life together. Let's have a little chit chat about making money online. One of the first things I'm about to destroy is Shopify drop shipping. What's the template? You go to Shopify, you get a Shopify store, then you start running Facebook ads. Now, this is where becoming a technician and knowing how the internet works will destroy that. That actually is a recipe for failure. Yes, it's a recipe for failure. What do you have? You have a physical product in your Shopify store, right? You should be running Google ads based upon search. Because if someone is searching for a red t-shirt and your Shopify store props up, that dramatically increases the, the chances of a conversion versus you just putting some junk in someone's Facebook feed. This is one of the things, because I've been seeing this stuff all the time, like Shopify drop shipping. It, it's a workable model. Most people are not, are, are, they're not technicians of the craft. They don't really know what they don't know. So they go ahead and take one of these courses and then everyone is targeting the same audience and the audience becomes desensitized to the ads. And you will go ahead and lose a lot of money that way. It's one of the most common things that, but no one talks about this because I've been making money online since roughly 2002 through eBay, Amazon, and my own websites. And this is one of the things, because many of these folks who are taking these courses, they don't understand how the internet works. Google ads are better for products than Facebook ads. And you won't hear anyone ever say that because it's like, this is what you do. You get the course, you go ahead and you start running Facebook ads. And you... No, 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 no. That's not how you do it. That's not how you do it. The next thing I'm going to destroy, Amazon FBA. You need twenty to fifty thousand dollars to get in the Amazon FBA game, which is what most of the people who are buying these Amazon FBA courses don't have. They don't have the money. They don't have the capital. Long, long time ago, you could have started with five hundred dollars and scaled up your Amazon FBA. Those days are gone, baby. They are gone. You're gonna need to roll in with two stacks, two racks, two to five racks. And then you're going to be doing a lot of testing of, and ordering and uh, tweaking. And literally, you're going to spend six months to a year just getting stuff ready. Just getting it ready. You ain't even making no money. You just got your Amazon account. You're ordering your stuff from China and you're doing all this and you're dealing with customs. You're going to spend a full year in prep mode before you start making any money. And why is this? Because people don't understand. I did a video the other day talking about why day trading and Forex was so hard. And I had a little pushback. I was like, you know, the dollar's dying. Let's get this straight. The dollar, my young men and women, will be alive when you are dead. The dollar ain't going nowhere. Why? Because the United States military. Why? Because the United States is the wealthiest country in the world. And until that changes, the dollar ain't going nowhere. I don't care about its fiat currency and all of this other stuff. And I need to protect myself and I need to buy gold and I need to buy Bitcoin. You really need to start a business and become a producer and creator and start generating wealth. GDP is what a country puts out as gross domestic product. That's the wealth of a country by creating and putting things out, not by rent seeking as in day trading or Forex. And as I said in the video the other day, that there are some people who are become really wealthy and they're really, but these are not normal people. These are exceptional people. And it's going to be very hard for you to duplicate their results as an average person, because even with Forex and even with day trading, 
you need a significant cash account. You need 10, 20, 30, 40, $50,000, which is 99% of the people in this country don't have that kind of money. So go ahead to the art of making money online. The art of making money online is very similar to making money offline. You have a product, you have a service and you serve people. That's it. And you will see all types of scams in trying to circumvent that. And then you will have companies whose whole valuation is based upon how much money they can raise to capture market share without making a profit. America's drunk on credit. America's drunk on financing. America's drunk on funding. But America needs to get drunk on something called profit. This is why I'm giving you guys 30 days to 2,500. This is a simple, simple test for your business ideal. It's a simple validation. You create your product or your service, you put it out in the market. Do people pay you? If they pay you, it's working. If they don't pay you, it ain't working. Just, just that simple. It's just that simple. But we have folks out here like Bitcoin. I will admit that probably at some point in the future, we're going to have a digital currency. But I was also in the same vein, say we will have autonomous driving cars and trucks. We're looking at 15 and 20 years before that is a mainstream reality. Yes, we have the technology now. Yes, we have cars that drive themselves. Yes, we have trucks that drive themselves. But mainstream mass adaptation is 15 to 20 years away. And the same thing with cryptocurrency. The dollar ain't going nowhere soon. The peso, the, the German mark, the British pound, they're not disappearing. No, I mean, we're looking at at least two decades, at least two decades. Which brings up another possibility for you to think about generating wealth. I put out this, uh, this um, comparison. You have a guy who makes $250,000 in cash. That's his paycheck. Then you have Farmer Brown over here who owns 100 acres and has 50 cows. And these 100 acres and 50 cows generate Farmer Brown $100,000 a year. While Farmer Brown is chilling up in the farmhouse with Ma Brown. And I will ask you, who is richer? And many people would say the guy with the $250,000 income. And I would say, absolutely not. Farmer Brown is richer because he has assets that produce income whether he's working or not. And that's the name of the game. One of the things that you guys have got to understand about making money online, stop chasing quick ass scams. Stop being predicated because just like these stimulus check proposals and these videos and understand that people are hurt, people need money, people are struggling and they're very seductive that someone comes on YouTube and hey, the government's going to give you $2,000 a month for the next year. That's, that's really seductive. It ain't true because if a stimulus package is hammered out, it is going to be a far cry from what is being proposed. I'm here to tell you because the Fed is cranking up money uh, over time. The Fed is doing unlimited quantitative easing, unlimited repo. I mean, we're talking trillions upon trillions upon trillions upon trillions added to the balance sheet. So, but let's get back to the conversation of making money online. Making money online is not rocket science difficult, but it does take a few disciplines. First thing you got to do is have your product or service. The second thing you need to do is validate your product or service to see if it's a workable business model. The third thing you have to do is to amplify the way that you communicate with your potential customers. And the fourth thing you need to do is have a solid business structure because so many guys and so many women have businesses and they don't have good books. Their books are a dumpster fire. They don't even know what's, what's coming in, what's going out. They just know they making money and look, they look in their bank account and it's like, Hey, I got enough money to pay my bills this month. I'm good. 
I want you guys to go over to Savage Finance. Essentially, I'm giving you sound, practical, workable money management advice. Because part of making money online, and I, I will say that making money online, you can make a gang of money online very, very quickly once you get your process worked down. I mean, it's, it can be literally incredible, the, the power of online amplification. But here's the issue. Most people are not technicians and artisans of making money online. I've been making money online since so literally 2002 through eBay, Amazon, and so forth. And this gives me the perspective background to know how things like, I, I made predictions many, many years ago what was gonna happen with Amazon FBA. And damn it, every last one of them came true. I've got, I had people who would literally fight me in the digital streets over my opinions about Amazon FBA. Amazon FBA is not a real business. You're essentially building your house on someone else's beach and the tide can come out in, in any minute and wipe out your house because you don't own that beach. When, the, when these people buy something on Amazon, they don't say that I bought it from store 8766. They say I got it on Amazon. They're Amazon's customers. They're not your customers. I want you to understand that. I want you to acknowledge that because if you go to Empire Flippers, you will see nothing but Amazon FBA businesses for sale. And I, I want you to ask yourself, why are all these people selling these so-called good businesses? They should be cash cows. If, you know, at a certain point, all the money that you invested, you should have got that back out and should be generating profit. Why would someone sell a cash cow? Because they know that it's problematic and it's not going to last forever. So you go ahead and spend your two or three million dollars on Empire Flippers for Amazon business. Go ahead, do that. Knock yourself out. But the whole deal about making money online is there, there's so many ways to make money online. There are so many valid business models. If you become an influencer, you can start selling shout outs. You build a big enough YouTube channel, you build a big enough Instagram page, you build a big enough Facebook page. That is money. And that is a workable, valid business model. But the thing is, you gotta build that baby. You gotta build it. Making money online shouldn't be seen as something that's going to be easy. And this is one of the things, and I understand that you guys are bombarded with ads that say, well, you know, just follow these quick, simple, easy steps to make money online. And essentially they're messing around with you. They're toying with your emotions. They playing with you because the reality is, and this is something that since I literally have almost 20 years of experience of selling online, that everything online changes, everything. Like the other day I was signing into my site ground account and they done moved everything around. This is what happens. Like when I, you know, I, I wasn't doing Google ads for a while. I went into the dashboard. They moved everything around. Everything online keeps changing. It does not stay the same. So for you to get a set it and forget it type business model online, they're lying to you because Google's going to change how they do their ads. Facebook's going to change how they do their ads. YouTube's going to change how they do their ads. It consistently changes. And if you're not in the trenches, you're not a technician, you're not a craftsman, you're, you're just gonna get lost. This is one of the reasons, because someone asked me what course did I take to learn how to do Google ads. I didn't take a course. I just started running ads off my YouTube channel. And it worked out really well. It worked out very, very well. So one of the things that I want you guys to understand is you can make money online, but it's a process and it's a sequence. And the first thing you need to do is identify what you bring to the online marketplace. Don't even worry about competition. Well, that market's crap. Everyone's looking for a blue ocean. This is a marketplace that there's not a lot of players, there's not a lot of competition, and you can just go in with a weak plan and make a lot of money. I'm here to tell you, it. let that go. You should jump into crowded and competitive markets. Why? Why are the markets crowded? Because there's money there. That's why they're crowded. 
you should go ahead and bring your unique perspective to the marketplace. Don't worry about competition because this is people like, I remember when I uh, came here online, I was talking about storage auctions and people were just like, is it too late? And I was like, no, it ain't too late. Because everybody's looking for the easy, simple opportunity. And in life, you create your own opportunity. Let me give you a little story. And this is going to talk about dealing with competition. When I first start, got in the storage auction business, they used to hand me my ass daily. Every time I go to the auctions, I would get outbid. They would toy with me. They would lead me into buying bad units. And I was just sitting there like, okay, I'm going to win. I'm going to win this thing. I'm going to win. And then one day, I looked at their weaknesses. They were selling in flea markets and they were selling on the weekends. So what did I do? I started selling on Craigslist. I started selling on eBay. I started selling on Amazon. Back then that was revolutionary. Most of them didn't even know about it and they didn't even know how to do it if they knew about it. So my money came up. So I started to be competitive. Now let's, let's go ahead and talk about this. The competitive market established market. There are people with more money than me. There were people playing games with me, but because I did my research and I looked to do some things that they weren't doing, I became competitive. I started duking it out with the big dogs and spending money. And because one of the things I've learned, and I've talked about this before, is the proportion of value. Most people bought storage units based upon what they can move, not the actual value of the storage unit. And this is what people do online. They do what, well, I can do this. And this is what they will shoot for. And they would leave all of this value that's over here on the table because they're only looking at their capabilities versus the value of the situation. So once I figured this out, because I was like, all of these assholes that keep bidding me up and running me up, they keep doing it. They keep having money to do this month after month. And then I started to observe their behavior. They all bought big, full units or they bought specific units. So I was like, I remember the first big boy unit I bought, 10 by 30. It was full from the Ruta to the Tuda and I paid $450 for it. And it was a monster. It was a 10 by 30. It literally took us a week to clean that sucker out. And my $400 matriculated into $6,000. And I was like, oh. And then I bought my second big boy unit. And what this did, it made me raise my capacity. See, I, when I bought that $400, $400 10 by 30, I wasn't ready to move it. I had to get ready to move it. I had to change my business model. I had to add things to it. And it paid off and then I did it again and it paid off and I did it again and it paid off. And I was like, ah, this is how this work. And this is the same thing online. Many of you are jumping in these crowded internet opportunity pools while you are leaving these value opportunities aside because you don't want to create your own website. You don't want to run your own traffic. You don't want to build your own brand. So everyone over here, because there's this chick, I'm not going to mention her name. She's, she's been dicking around with Amazon for literally five years because it's such a great opportunity. I'm going to tell you what the opportunity is with Amazon, selling Amazon FBA courses. The amazing, the amazing selling machine made $95 million. I guarantee you the guys who created the amazing selling machine did not make $95 million on Amazon. And, you know, I'm an online course creator, but I don't sell those type of courses because there's a reason that you will like literally I have seen 20 guys start YouTube channels and talk about Amazon FBA and literally explode get to 100,000 subscribers in six months to a year and then they launch their Amazon FBA course and they make millions because everyone is over here and Amazon is like laughing at you guys because Amazon is like we don't need these third-party sellers we don't need them. As long as you play our game in our, on our beach and in our sand, we'll keep you. But the minute you get out of pocket, you got to go. So one of the things is if you're going to make money online, you're looking at a one to three year journey, depending on what you're selling, what you're establishing and how knowledgeable you are 
of how the internet works. Like the other day I got like literally 10 people who wanted me to reset their passwords. I don't get paid to reset passwords. If you send me an email saying, Hey Glendon, please reset my password. It will not be returned because you don't understand the simplest thing. Every website, Gmail, Facebook, my websites has a functionality on how you can reset your password. You, you can do it yourself. And I'm just going to ignore these people because they ain't ready to make no money. They don't have the basic, simple understanding of how to reset the password. They're just going to like, Hey, I'm giving you a free course. that's going to put money in your pocket. Oh, then you want me to hold your little PP, hold the door open for you and wipe your little booty when you get done. No, I, I ain't doing that. That makes me no money. That, that gives me no joy. I'm not doing that. And this, this, this kind of goes into the conversation of learn how the internet works. There are so many people who have no foundational understanding of how the internet works. They are a consumer of the internet, but they're not a art architect or a builder or a creator of the internet. And that's the thing you got to get down because if once you learn how to use the internet, because I will tell you something like, uh, I got to go ahead and work on cause essentially, you know, talking about a YouTube channel, many people don't want to start a YouTube channel because it's so competitive and it's so hard and they don't want to put themselves out there. I, I get that. But when I first started this YouTube channel, I actually hated it. Let me tell you what I had to do. I had to shoot the video. I had to edit the video. I had to use handbrake to crank down the size of the video because you did not have these unlimited uploads that you have today. And literally this took me hours, four to five hours just to do the, you know, or it was a whole day to do one video, just a whole day. And it was just work. And I hated that, but I kept at it because I love the results. And you need to get over yourself because I can tell you right now I'm getting more email opt-ins from my YouTube channels than I did from my paid advertising, almost a hundred a day. But see, I understand how the internet works and I'm going to start the paid traffic campaigns cause I want to get way more than that. Cause my ultimate goal is a thousand opt-ins per day. So I'm, I'm going to need some paid traffic for that. And if YouTube had not, disavowed this channel and put me into the Netherlands, I could probably get a thousand signups a day if YouTube was promoting my videos. That's just how powerful a, a, a big YouTube channel can be, or even a small YouTube channel, because literally what you can do with a 10,000 subscriber YouTube channel is fundamentally amazing. It is amazing. And this is once again, being an architect, being a craftsman, being a technician, of the internet because I know how these things work and this is why I'm going to create more YouTube channels and I, you know, and I have a greater understanding of this because, and also let's have this conversation. You might be smart enough to figure it out and it could take you three to 10 years. Whereas if you spent some money on the online course, you could figure that out in a matter of days or a week, your choice, your decision for all the folks, I ain't spending no money on no course. Cause I'm so egotistical and I know everything. I'm smart. I can figure it out. <laughs> yeah, you go on. Literally there are some things about the internet. If there is not a mentorship through a course or something, you're literally never going to figure this stuff out. And I'm going to tell you why, because by the time you figure it out, it's going to change. Remember what I said earlier? Everything on the internet changes. It's going to change. And you, you, you're sitting there and you're losing time and money. Time is money. You're losing so much time trying to figure it out. I remember watching this one dude. It's like he was trying to do Amazon FBA and he was watching all the Amazon FBA YouTubers. And it's like, well, I, you know, he's like, I ain't trying to buy no course, but I'm trying to get all this free information. And he literally spent two years watching these videos and scaling up his Amazon FBA business, which never really got that big because the last video I saw he made before he stopped, he was doing like $6,000 a month. If he had bought a decent, halfway decent Amazon course, he would have been way, way ahead of himself. And here's this thing. 
if you're gonna have an online business, you're gonna to have to spend money. You're gonna spend money on ads, you're gonna spend money on courses, you're gonna spend money on mentorship, you're gonna spend money on the internet infrastructure. I have one, two, three, think of if sites, disruptivemail.org, hustlerskungfulifeskills.com, B School for Hustlers. That's 300 bucks a month right there just for those three. And then whenever I send you a text, I have to pay for that. Whenever I do a live stream, that's like $30 to send out the notifications, but it has worked. It has drastically improved. Cause I used to, you know, cause at one point I used to do live streams. I used to get so many people that the feed would just, I couldn't keep up with the feed. Then it got to the point where, you know, YouTube put me in the Netherlands and then this, that actually helped make my live streams better. And I actually had a live stream a few months ago where I got a hundred thousand, I got a hundred subscribers just from that live stream. So you're going to have to spend money. This whole notion that you're going to build a robust, super califragilistic internet business that makes a lot of money. It ain't going to happen. You're going to have to spend some money because the days like, you know, you're looking at folks like Kim Kardashian. She has 140 million uh, followers on Instagram and she can charge 100, 200 K for uh, a mention or something. Look at how long she's been on Instagram. See, this is one of the things that you look at people who've been online for a while. The same tactics that they use to build their accounts will not work for your because it, it keeps changing the criteria youtube has changed six seven times since i've been on here major changes because at one point you know you used to be able to do a reply video they got rid of that that was a way that there was so there was so many ways for you to grow that they literally got rid of and right now your path to growing the youtube channel is making excellent content that people want to watch that's your own that's that's it if people don't want to watch your content, you making booty content, um, you're not you're not gonna you're not gonna win. Or you could be in the situation I'm in on this channel where I've been disavowed because YouTube has certain categories. YouTube has an algorithm. Well, it actually, has many algorithms. There's an algorithm for your YouTube videos. There's an algorithm for your live stream. There's an algorithm for your community page. There's an algorithm for your thumbnail. Yes, there's an algorithm for your thumbnail. And there are multiple algorithms and they work together to push and promote your videos. Because once you get to, once you, because the thing is once the algorithm picks up your videos and you keep giving it that juicy content that it likes, it will literally skyrocket your channel. And it's, it's, it's very interesting because it's about relativity and relatability. But, you know, we'll talk about that a little later. But what I want you guys to understand is making money online is a process. And you need to rid yourself that you're going to take one of these scam courses and make a whole bunch of money real quick. Let that go. But if you go ahead and create a website, create a product or service, and you learn how to market and you learn how to run traffic, you will make a lot of money. You will make a lot of money. I'm here to tell you, you will make a lot of money. And there's this process and there's this system. And also stop going for the cheap and easy stuff. I did a video, the other, I did a live stream the other day where I was shipping furniture in 2003. I was shipping big, heavy furniture across the United States. Stop looking at the simple and easy things and start saying, well, what, what if I can do this? And what if I can do this? And go ahead and start making you some money online. So that's all I have for you guys. Be sure to get 30 days to 2,500. Be sure to get the hustler's mindset course. And also, since you guys are getting those courses and you're gonna be making money, get my money management course. I'm not giving you that one. You got to pay for that one. Go ahead and get that course because it's going to teach you how to properly segment and optimize your money. Because what it is, is giving you a business structure for your personal finance. And right now there are many businesses as we can attest to during this pandemic that don't have the right corporate or banking structure. And this is very, very critical to growing your money and getting wealthy. So with that, I will see you guys in the next one.